What's up everyone? Still trying live. Back again with another tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make auras. So basically that's making an aura ability uh, for a unit that can either like increase movement speed, attack rate, damage, uh, stuff like that that also affects nearby uh, allied units as well. So what we're going to do specifically in this tutorial, we're going to create a movement speed buff for our Jim Rayner hero unit that affects him as well as any uh, allied units uh, around him. So let's get started. So first of all, we're going to create, uh, we're going to have to create two behaviors and two effects in the data module. So let's go ahead, open up the data module. So first let's open up the behaviors tab. So edit game data behaviors, uh, right click, add behavior. And since we're going to make a speed buff, let's just call this speed buff. And then suggest, and then the behavior type will be buff. And then just click OK. And now in the, the fields, uh, let's just go ahead and search for duration. Right click on the value, and then the duration is going to be 0 0.5417. So how I got this, uh, basically how I looked up uh, this, uh, this found this value. I actually looked up the mother mothership cloak uh, ability or behavior, and that's how I got this duration value. Uh, this I mean one way to get learn a lot about the editor is just look at other units, you know that are already made. Look how uh, their stats are. Uh, how their effects, stuff like that. You just basically just copy those. So now that we have the duration, let's search for alignment. And we want to change the alignment to be positive. Uh, this way the buff will show up uh, as a green color instead of, uh, I mean, if you have it negative, it's going to be red. I'm not sure what neutral is, but let's just go ahead and keep it positive. Okay, and now we're going to search for time scale. And then the time scale source, we want this to be global. Just press OK. And now we want to search for modification. Double click its value. And then we want to go to movement find movement speed multiplier which is here and change this to two so you can basically see that the movement speed um, it's going to effectively double the speed of the units uh, there's a bunch of other modifications you can do um, deceleration movement speed bonus maximum movement speed if you look in abilities there's a bunch of abilities uh, uh, let's look you can combat, you can change the damage dealt, uh, multiply, behavior, unit, resource, weapon, all types of stuff. But for now, we're just going to have the, we want the speed buff or, so we're going to multiply the speed. Just so, just press OK. OK, and the last thing we're going to do for this behavior is change the icon. So let's go just browse. Uh, so let's just have it be like the zealot charge ability uh, icon. That's fine, even though it's going to be geared to a marine. He's going to have zealot legs. Just press OK. OK, uh, save it. And now we want to go create an effect. So edit game data effects. Just right click, add effect. And then we're going to call this uh, speed buff. Suggest, and this is, we just add um, apply to this. OK, press OK. Now in the fields, just search for uh, behavior. And we want. Uh, 
this basic effect behavior. So double click and then just search for speed buff. Press OK. Okay, now we're going to add another effect. Let's just get rid of this. Uh, so again, in the effects tab, right click on the catalog area, add effect. This will be our second effect. This will be our speed buff search. So basically this is going to search uh, the units around it uh, to apply the speed buff to those units. Hit suggest and then change the effect type to search area. and then press OK. Okay, now in the fields, we want to search for areas plus, double click, and then we want to add the, a value. Okay, so the arc, 360 degrees, just defines it's looking for units of 360 degrees. Uh, let's see here. Maximum count, keep this as negative one. Uh, minus one just means that it can be applied to infinite number of units. Radius, let's set this to five. And then effect, we want it to be, uh, just hit choose. And then speed, buff. Okay. And press okay. Now let's look for search flags. And for search flags, we want to extend by unit uh, radius. So just check that box, uh, leave offset area by angle checked. Next, we want to search for impact location. And then for impact location, we want this to be the caster, the va set value to caster unit. And the next thing we want to search is launch location. Again, under value, just set this to caster unit and press OK. Now search for search filters. So we want to uncheck enemy and, and neutral. Uh, this way our speed buff won't apply to enemy units, which would be really bad. And neutral units, uh, which um, we don't need the speed buff to apply to them either. I mean, you can if you want, just in this case, we're not going to. And also, these are all of the types of units uh, that are allowed that are your allies or your, yourself as the player. But let's go ahead and disallow hidden units. So just double click this until you get to excluded. We also want to exclude dead units. Theoretically, they shouldn't be moving if they're dead. And then missiles, we don't want missiles getting a speed bonus. So let's just exclude those as well. And just press OK. So now we need to make the buff affect uh, the actual unit that's casting it, which is our Jim Rayner use unit. So let's go ahead, save, go back to the behaviors tab. And now we're going to add our second behavior. So right click, add behavior, and we're gonna call this speed buff or. Okay, just hit suggest and behavior type will be buff. Press okay. And now we want to change, uh, let's search for stats flags. Not what I wanted. Uh, let's let's just search for flags. Here we go. So right click flags and then check the hidden box. Okay, now search for periodic. And then under the effect periodic, double click the value 
and let's search for speed buff and this will be you want to have it speed buff search press OK and then period search for period and under basic stats period we want to change this value to 0 0.4167 and again uh, that's directly copied from the mo mothership cloak uh, behavior just press OK now the last thing you need to do is uh, go to the units tab search for uh, Rainer which if you watch my previous tutorials we renamed as the people's hero because he is the hero of the great people uh, just click him uh, search for uh, behavior right click the value uh, we want to add a value and then search for speed buff or and then select speed buff aura and then press OK save it and then let's test it out so if this works our Jim Rayner hero unit should have double the movement speed as well as any allied units in his vicinity uh, will get double movement speed What's up? so you can see here he has the speed buff What's the plan? he moves like super plan. super fast uh, he has double the movement speed and let's see so these units don't currently have the speed buff but if we move them towards Jim Rayner it should be readily apparent as they approach a certain distance their speed is greatly induced is doubled as well and you can see that it's applied as well so yeah um, that's basically I mean that's basically it for this tutorial you can see you can create auras for a lot of different units you could even create units for uh, buildings as well so let's say you create an aura this What's for up? this uh, command biodome Talk to me. that heals up any units in its uh, vicinity. You could also, you know, have negative uh, auras that you want to avoid. Uh, you know, crossing into its aura field when you're playing a map, stuff like that. So. It's pretty versatile uh, ability that you can add to a unit or building. And yeah, that's going to be it for this. And I'll see you guys next time. Alright, take it easy everyone. Bye.